first among all of the challenges caused by the pandemic, here's another one. A new report estimates as many as 3 million students in the U.S. have not received any form of education since March. I'm Brooke Katz. Doug is off tonight. Our Caroline Vandergriff looks at the impact right here in North Texas. A team of researchers is sounding the alarm about the devastating consequences of the pandemic on kids' education. But we realize there's a huge hidden crisis. It's not even on the way, it's happening right now. Nonprofit Bellwether Education Partners estimates up to 25% of the country's most vulnerable students haven't had any formal learning in the past seven months. If we look at that at the national level, that's more than 3 million kids. So as if the entire school age population of the state of Florida stopped going to school. Attendance is down in the two largest school districts in North Texas. Uh, we in Fort Worth ISD have experienced about a four and a half percent dip uh, in, in our enrollment. And this is within the range of other large urban. Dallas ISD started the school year missing about 15,000 students from its original projections. Since then, they've been able to re-engage around 10,000 of those children using tools to show who logged on and how often. And so we called uh, uh, not only the kids that were, um, you know, completely inactive, but those that weren't participating every day uh, as well. So um, I think that effort helped a lot. Another part of the solution is making sure students not only have devices, but solid internet connection as well. You know, if, if that's not happening, you know, the district, we, as, we need to figure out why and, and, you know, what we need to do about it. Because research shows even a short period of missed school can mean permanent setbacks. Our goal in this and our hope was that people would really understand both the scale and the seriousness of the attendance crisis that we are confronted with. Both Fort Worth and Dallas ISDs report a big drop in enrollment in pre-K and kindergarten in particular. Those grades aren't mandatory in Texas, so many families are choosing to keep their younger students at home. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.